Hi guys, and welcome back to Miso Dog TV. You know that we love our Kimetsu no Yaiba, or Demon Slayer, on this channel, and today we're going to be talking about some of the actual history that's intertwined with the new anime that's coming out, uh, the Yukaku arc. Um, this video is going to contain some spoilers, so if you want to go into the anime completely blind, I suggest waiting on watching this video. So YT, okay. the new Kimetsu no Yaiba anime is the adaptation of the Yukaku arc. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that the majority of overseas viewers mm. know what the word yukaku means. So okay. like, what can you tell us about it? Okay, to talk about yukaku, actually we're going to have to talk about prostitution. Oh, prostitution? Yeah, is that what the new anime is going to be about? Uh, not, not really, but this is the, uh, one of the elements of the you know, setting. Okay. So the word yukaku refers to an old Japanese red light district. Okay. So uh, uh, prostitution has a long mm -hmm. history in Japan, and mm -hmm. it's hard to pin down the actual roots. Oh. But the place where the new Kimetsu no Yaiba anime is set mm. is actually a real place mm. that is significant to the uh, history of red light districts in Japan. So where exactly is the Yukaku arc set? So the setting of the Yukaku arc mm -hmm. is in Edo, which mm. is modern day Tokyo. Mm. You can actually visit the actual place mm. where the anime is set, mm. which is uh, called Yoshiwara Yukaku, mm -hmm. but it looks uh, probably a lot different now. So Yoshiwara Yukaku dates back to the early 1600s mm. and became uh, well known, well visited from 18th century until mm -hmm. 1958 when the government cracked down on prostitution and the industry went underground. Oh. I just assumed that like a lot of the details in the manga were exaggerated to make it more interesting, but like how much of it is actually true? Okay, aside from you know fighting demons, of course, yeah. you know there is there are a lot of things that you know pertain to the actual history because it's a manga. Yeah, children also read that. Mm -hmm. That is why there is not much you know explicitly shown or you know, said about prostitution. Oh uh, yeah, but it's implied that the houses. Uh, Tanjiro and mm. the others infiltrate yeah. are where the prostitutes live. Oh, yeah. so like multiple houses for prostitutes. Was it really that popular? Yes, it is. That was like super popular. Mm. Uh, it is said that about 9,000 women were yeah. working in Yoshiwara Yugaku in 1900. Wow. The women who worked in Yoshiwara Yugaku yeah. are called Yuzo. Yeah. And there, are, there were actually ranks that identified mm. them. In Kimetsu no Yaiba, yeah. uh, the Oilan is the main, arc, uh, main demon in this arc. Mm. So the Oilan mm. is the highest uh, rank among the Yuzo, mm -hmm. who on top of looks, excelled in the arts and performance. Oh. You can see the special treatment the Oilan gets mm. in the manga when Tanjiro and the others come across a type of parade mm -hmm. with uh, the Oiran at the front. Oh. It is called Oiran Dochu. And it was a large procession in which uh, o uh, the Oiran mm -hmm. went to pick up her regular customers. Oh, okay. So the Oiran was pretty much like the top seller of each mm -hmm. house. Exactly, yes. Okay. But I remember like in the manga, there were a lot of young girls mm -hmm. in the house as well. Like, what's up with that? Uh, okay. So the majority of the usual mm -hmm. were actually sold as young girls by their parents in debt. Oh, yeah. okay. And very young girls, around 10 years old, yeah. were called uh, Kamuro. Okay. Uh, they helped out the Oiran and yeah. received training from older Yuzho. Oh. Yeah. So you can see them interacting with Zenitsu, Tanjiro, and Inosuke in the manga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sad thing about the Yuzho is that uh, in most cases, unless they were bought by very wealthy families, mm -hmm. they could be working their whole lives and still not be able to pay the debt. Oh, wow. That's pretty dark, but I guess yeah. that's also like an important part of Japan's history. Yeah. yeah. So red light districts still exist today in Japan, right? Yes, you can find similar districts all over Japan. Mm. They've kind of evolved into like tourist spots, oh, okay. but still you can find things like you know, hostess bars, mm -hmm. like a house bars in mm -hmm. Japan. Mm. Unlike during the other period, the prostitution is illegal, mm. so nothing's made outright public. Yeah. It's hard to say what's happening behind a closed door. True, yeah. true. There's definitely a lot of things going on mm. that is in legal gray zone. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Like, I didn't think that there was such a deep history with the red light districts right? of Japan. But like, it's cool to see how Kimetsu no Yaiba actually takes these elements from history and incorporates them into the manga as well. True, true. And that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something new. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time. Bye. Bye.